How are you football fans? This Sunday, you can stream Fulham v Liverpool and Everton v Chelsea. That's an amazing Paddy's Day lineup for a one-off payment of just €10. Euro. To grab a Now TV Sky Sports Day Pass and only pay for the games that matter to you, search Now TV today. Content streamed via internet, full terms at nowtv.com. Up, flip, the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim Robinson.
Hello, everyone. I pray that you are having an amazing day. You have reached the Speaking Life broadcast, and I am Minister Devin M. Hogan. So I'm so glad you tuned in. First, I want to do a few hellos. I want to say hello to Kimmy Robinson, the owner of Elations Radio Station. And I also want to say hello to all my listeners. I thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about Speaking Life. Say a little bit about Speaking Life. Our mission is um, in, intended to uplift, inspire with an open heart and a firm yet loving word of encouragement directly from the Lord. Um, our key, our core verse is uh, scripture verses, Proverbs 18 and 21. And it reads as follows Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So, today, with that being said, I would like to talk about the power of your words. And um, I used to always uh, speak positive um, words as much as I could, positive affirmations, but we know, um, you know, that's based with this scripture. So, however, I just want to talk about the power of your words. What, what, What are you projecting with your words? Do we really understand what that means when we're when we say death and life are in the power of the tongue? For example, if you have a interview and you're saying, Man, I'm not gonna get this job, I'm not gonna do well, I'm not gonna do well, I'm not gonna do well. Well, you've already spoken that. And although we know the scripture, what the Bible says, I want to make sure that we're really aware because I found it to be Helpful. I found it to be true. I believe the word of God as it is written. I believe that. Um, and so I found myself, I can give you an example for myself, and that is exactly when um, I had a house guest many years ago. And I continue to point out the negative of of their, you know, their state. But one day I just got, you know, after praying and just said, well, why am I just focusing on the negative? Let me begin to focus on the positive. And it took me to another level and took me to another level. And before I knew it, the house gets, um, were, were, you know, they weren't there anymore. But God allowed me to help that person. And so I know that there's a lot of things going on in the world. I know that there is things that we see. We're inundated with so many negative images. But, you know, the word of God is life. And when God gave me the name of this speaking life, uh, that's what it is. It's basically the word of God. And so as we read that word and we go out and we and we encourage one another, or we, even if we're encouraging ourselves, we want to make for sure that the words we, you know, what words are we projecting? Even to our children, I'm a big component of speaking life, positive things into your child. They may say, hey, I want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, uh you know, reach the stores. Well, we know there are several limits to, you know, several things they would have to do to go to stores, but you know, reach the stores, but we always want to tell them that they can reach the stores, you know, and so it's it's important. It gets, you know, that is in your spirit. You know, you may be facing some adversity. Things may be going on in your life, things that you just say, okay, God, why? But you have to keep speaking that because that's an encourager to you, not just to others, but that is an encourager to you. And so I, this is one of my favorite scriptures. Another thing I kind of want to touch bases on is do you believe the words that have been said? So that's a, that's, that's, that negates to, like, someone speaking things over your life. Uh, one of the things that I kind of uh, spoke about was when I had my, you know, I prepared, I was preparing my book. I was actually writing my book, and that's one of the things that I focused on was that there were a lot of things that were said to me negatively, and I believe those things even later on in my adult life. So it's important that we just don't allow anyone to say anything and put anything into our spirit. Now, I don't say you have to be mean. You don't have to just say, hey, don't say that, but just make sure that we're not receiving anything because it is important. Again, it's, it, it always relates back to the word. It always relates back to your purpose. It always relates to we are the light of the we are the light of the world. And so with that, we want to give them as much life. We want to give them as much positivity. We want to give it to ourselves. We want to give it to our children. We want to give it to our coworkers. We want to be that light. And also, you know, when when you begin to just do that, you take on a whole different persona. 
So I go about my day, and I get up, and I just say, hey, this is going to be a blessed day. There could be 20 things that happen in that day, but the blessing in that day is the fact that I woke up. You know, that God allowed me to get up, that I was able to put on my own clothes, that I was able to make decisions that some others don't have that, I, you know, they don't have uh, that that blessing to decide on their clothes. And I know you've heard this over and over and over and over. And, over. and one thing that I want to always do, I want to bring you inspiring, um, you know, dialogue. I want to have and guests that, you know, guests that will inspire, maybe a scripture, maybe something, whatever we can do just to inspire your day. Um, and so to me that is very important. And I've always, you know, lived by that. I can't tell you exactly when it happened, but I just know that God deposits that nugget in me, uh, that word, that seed, you know, in me uh, years ago. And even I find myself, if things are not going, you know, in the direction I feel they can go, I always look at the situation, kind of analyze it, and I say, well, not kind of, I analyze and I say, okay, what good can I pull out of this? So just remember that you have to always, you know, try to always speak life, speak the word of God. It encourages you. It encourages others. It puts you right where we need to be. It takes you out of that natural and puts you in that spiritual realm because we can look at so many things and we can say, oh, my God, we know that God is soon to come. But we can look at so many we can look at so many things, and then we can say, if we look at it through the lens of the world, then we can see no, you know, we can see, we can't see anything positive. We don't, we can't project anything, but you also have to put something in to be able to take something out. So that's going to come from reading, digesting your word, uh, maybe a song, um, your favorite ministry, your favorite person, whatever it takes to put that in you know, to put that in you so you will have it to give out another thing. Something I hadn't done in a long time, I went to the park. And I hadn't been to the park in a really long time. And I'm like, why haven't I been to the park? Nothing special, nothing big. I just took some time out, and I just went to the park. And I just walked around the park, looked at the bird, just looked. And there was a lot of things going on that day. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to take some time out. And I'm just, and sometimes we have to take that time out and we have to digress and we have to just regroup. So I just uh, really, I prayed about it and God said, just talk about the power of the words. And um, I had a few reference scriptures, but God said, no, don't, don't do that. Just talk about the power of your words. And so wherever you're going on in life, we know there are people who are dealing with illness. We know people are dealing with some tragic you know, things they're dealing with. They may be dealing with divorce. They may be de- uh, dealing with violence. And I'm not just saying that this is going to come overnight. This is definitely a process. Um, it's a process. It's going to take time. Even now, I don't have it so down packed, but I have it at a place where if something happens in my day or something is going on in my life, I have my strength and my faith in God Almighty. So I know that God will never leave me or forsake me. So I have to be able to speak that very word back into when I'm praying, when I'm communicating over that situation, over that mountain. I have to be able to say that word, whatever that is, that the weapon will form me, will not prosper. I have to speak life, speak life into that situation. And I had a situation that has been going on, going for over a year, and I just kept speaking life, and I kept speaking life, and I kept speaking life over it, and everything was descending. I kept speaking the word, the word is life. I kept speaking that word, kept saying it, kept praying, had some dark days, had some tears, had some up days, had just different things going on. But out of all of that, I had received a call and a friend of mine, and she said, you know, everything that you've been through, we've been knowing each other for years, everything that you've been through, I noticed that you never let go of God, and you always had a word. And I couldn't understand it because it was one time I was like, I didn't even know. I mean, I was so numb with everything that was going on in my life. However, that sea was inside of me. So I was still able, when I wasn't even able to operate in the natural, that's when the spiritual realm came in. So, you know, the word is so important. It's so imperative, so imperative for our daily existence. It's so imperative that we that, that that we speak that word. We speak it to non-believers. We speak it to ourselves. We speak it to believers. We speak it to our loved ones. We speak over that situation, and so we can be inspired and be encouraged. And so, if you're having 
uh, 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 trials and you're having your tribulations and you're going through a difficult time, you know, pull out that scripture or, you know, remember back to that sermon or call someone to pray or get someone to help you. You don't have to do this by yourself. And if you say, well, Minister Devin, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I, I just don't feel inspired today. I don't. Find you something to be inspired for. If you are listening to it in the in and you know later at a later time, and you say I don't feel any, you know it, there's different things you could turn on the news. There's some there's something for you to be inspired to 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 be grateful for. And so um, that's what I'm really thanking God for that He has blessed me to be able to to use me in this matter. And all it took was for me to say yes. And so as I dive into different topics. Um, I'm believing that God is going to allow it to reach, you know, reach you all in such a way that you will tune in and say, hey, that's exactly what I need. And that's definitely going to come from the Holy Spirit. It's not by that, but it's not by me. It's directly from the Holy Spirit. So I want you all just to take that away um, as we, you know, just a few more minutes. And, and but what 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 are you projecting with your words? What are you saying to, to others? What are you saying to yourself? What, what are you saying over your situation? What are you saying over that house or that car or your health or your children or even in your prayer time, what are you saying? Are you, are you saying uh, the word of God and then you get up and then you go right back to what you laid at the altar? What, word, what, what are you projecting with your words? Are you projecting life with your words or you, with your tongue or are you speaking death? So be mindful of that, and do you believe the words that have been said? You know, I, I spoke on that, so, I, you know, I spoke on that. Do you believe it? And that can be in the positive or the negative. So if someone spoke something negative over you, a lot of times we believe it. Someone says something that's not flattering, and you begin to get, you know, it's in your self-conscious, and you think, well, maybe they're right. Maybe they won't right. Maybe they were incorrect. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they were right. Maybe they no. Don't allow that to fester. It starts in your mind, and that's when you immediately denounce that negativity, that demonic spirit is trying to knock you out. You know, the enemy desires to sift us like we That's the word of God. That's what he desires to do. So it may come in many different forms, and that's why we have to stay alert. We have to always be watchful. We have to always be prayerful because, like I see, and even if you speak something, so not just the negative but the positive. So when you're speaking positive, believe that. Believe what you said. Believe that the weapon will form and will not prosper. Believe that, 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 that you were predestined for this day, that God predestined you, that you're right where you're supposed to be, that God, look, God, remember, before Paul, he was Saul. Remember the road to Damascus. So God has no respect of person. So sometimes people would try to hold you to what you were. But you are a new creature in Christ. Old things pass away and become new. So just know that. Believe be, believe the words that you have said that are positive, not the negative words. And don't believe all the negativity. I don't care if it's 10 years ago, 15 years ago, whenever it was said, don't believe that. And remember that as you begin to speak that, begin to get into that word, begin to look at tapes and sermons and get around believers. You may have to change your circle. It may not necessarily be you. It may be just who you are around. And we've all faced different people, and people can, you know, some people can be really negative, and you say, oh, I've done it, because I'm like, well, I'm going to be the positive person. I'm going to speak life. I'm going to continue on. But this person is always negative, and you try, and you say apple, and they say two oranges, and you say two oranges, they say, well, you forgot the grapes. <laughs> and so uh, believers and non-believers. And so with that, sometimes you may have to pull back. You may have to retreat. You may have to do something different. Continue to love on them. Continue to pray for them. Continue just to know that you or God loves you. God cares about you. He's concerned about the very things you're concerned about. But just know if it's anything negative. I don't care if they say something about the way you look, the way you speak, uh, or the presentation that you gave. You can't do that. That's crazy. You're thinking too big. You're thinking too small. Don't let anyone pour into your spirit negatively. Take it to the Lord. Allow the Lord to speak because God is not going to speak negative things for you. Now, he will come and he will minister correction, 
but he will not just speak negative things to you to pull you in a frame where you feel less than. You know, that comes, we know directly where that comes from. So I hope today, this is abbreviated version, and I hope today that you were encouraged by something that I said. Um, I pray that um, that you are inspired, and I pray that you continue to tune in. Um, before we close out, I want to let you know that I can be reached at all social media platforms. Um, I am Devin M. Hogan on Facebook. I have a business page, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and I'm also uh, in Instagram at I am Devin M. Hogan. Also, I want to remind you guys that um, I do have a book out uh, that was published uh, in September 2018. It's called Life Spoken, Overcome an Attack of the Tongue. It basically goes over three uh, things. And I, uh, God had me to label it uh, and, you know, overcome an attack of the tongue because I had to overcome all those negative things that were said to me. Uh, early on, you know, during a uh, tumultuous childhood. So I had to overcome those things. So when Life Spoken, uh, the name of the book, Life Spoken, because it was actually the word. And so when the word, when I was able to cultivate that relationship with the Lord later on in my adult life, the word brought me life. So Life Spoken. And then God told me to do the uh, name the broadcast. He named the uh, podcast Speaking Life. So everything is surrounding uh, the Word of God, and that book was basically written to say what I went through, the things I survived, uh, the the rapes, the uh, domestic violence, all those different things that I survived, and I survived those things because of the Word of God and my relationship with the with the Lord, and I allowed God to come in, and even after uh, many years of accepting Christ, the Lord in my life. There were still areas that were untapped. There were still areas. And so when I began to write, it became therapeutic. And God said, no, you're going to put this in. You're going to put this in. You're going to put that in. And so it was helpful for me. And so it took me to another level where I can actually say, hey, I survived this. Uh, you can survive it too. But it's going to be, it's going to come by allowing God in those dark, deepest places. You know, allow the word to You know, we can hear the word, but we have to make for sure that we're giving God everything. And so saying yes to the Lord, accepting, I mean, accepting the Lord in your life, saying yes to him, giving God everything. Even those things that you think you want to hold on to, those things that you think God can't do anything with, God can do, he can do anything. He can turn your life around, and he will turn your life around. So I can, it was a time that I used to just speak so people can hear me and see me as the victim. And so I'm no longer a victim. I'm a person that God has brought through many trials and tribulations. So I can stand before one, or I can stand before many, and I can say, hey, I was raped multiple times, and I survived beatings, and I survived homelessness, under eating, overeating, all because of my relationship with Christ, and you can do the same thing. I want you guys to be inspired. I want you to look forward to and know that God is, know that God loves you. He will never leave you or forsake you, and I know that many of you listening, you may already know this, but you may want to hear. We can never get enough of hearing the word of God, and I'm still learning in this journey. And so, like I said, the three things is what I've been through in life spoken, how I lived, um, and the disservice I did with my family, the way I lived, and the way I felt I did a disservice, even though they didn't feel that way, and how God brought me out. So it's those three simple things. That those book, that book is available on Amazon.com. Uh, again, I'm also going to have a guest, and I'm uh one more thing I want to say, I want to have a guest uh, on uh, March the 27th, and I know you guys are really going to love her. Um, she is a professional uh, clinical uh, social worker that's going to have a few little tools where it's definitely going to be inspiring. I met her over a year ago, and she is phenomenal. Um, so I just want to thank you guys again for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Um You can always find me on those social media websites. I'll say them again, and then we're going to close with prayer. Um, You can find me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube at Devin M. Hogan. 
um, and also on Instagram at underscore I am Devin M. Hogan. So I thank you, and I pray that you guys will have an amazing week. I look forward to many, many more Wednesdays with you guys, and I am open to your ideas or anything that you may want me to dive into that we can talk about. I'm very open to that. Remember, this is God's platform. This is not Minister Devin's platform, so I'm very open to that. So let's um, let's have a moment of prayer. Father, Lord Jesus, I just thank you, God, and I magnify you. We glorify you, God, just for being God. Father God, I pray right now that you would touch each and every person, God, that is listening to this podcast. I'm praying right now, God, that there is a person that's dealing with uh, speaking life into their own life. Lord, whether they're saved, Father God, or if they're not saved, I pray that they will begin to want to, that they want to have a relationship with you, oh God. I pray, God, that you will continue to cover them and let them know, God, that all those negative things, God, that were said to them were untrue. That was just a trick of the enemy to throw them off their course to, to Lord, to try to kill them, try to destroy them. He is the father of all lives. Everything he says is a facade, oh God. So, Lord, I'm praying that my brother, my sister, whoever is listening, will continue to be encouraged, God, that they will continue to seek your face, that they will continue to seek other fellow believers that will support them, that will love on them, God, that if they're looking for a Bible-based church, that you will lead them, that they will clearly have a clear understanding of who you are, God, and they will clearly have their voice. Move the confusion out of their life, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, and we glorify you, God, and we magnify you, God, for this time. It is in your son Jesus' name that we pray. Amen, and thank God. And remember to speak life. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. All right, Arthur, you're up. Paul and Silas was wrapped up in that Roman jail. Had nobody to go their bail. Silas said, you treat and Paul said, I don't say. And just about that hour, something happened. I'm going to wait till the midnight hour when the Roman guards go to sleep. So I can talk to my heavenly father Up in heaven on the throne He's the only one I know That can save and deliver my soul In the midnight hour, yeah In the midnight hour, yeah Time, I like to be with friends. Then again, like to be alone. So I can talk to my heavenly father. Say it again now. Talk to my heavenly father. Up in heaven, on the throne. He's the only one I know that can save. Let me.
yeah.